Hello viewers, today we're going to be replacing the drive and I'm not going to replace the memory but I'll show you how it's done on a Dell Inspiron 17R-7720 this is a 17 inch model which is somewhat unusual there's two screws to release this panel here and this is what we need to take off Okay, and now we just have to kind of finagle this off. And so now we have we have the memory here. If you wanted to replace the memory, it's very simple. Press these two tabs out to the sides and it slips out. And to reinstall Align the slats, it goes in at an angle, and you press it down, it latches in place. This machine has two slots for a drive. We have uh, this slot here, which is empty, and then this slot, which is in use. There's four screws to take the drive out, so we'll take those out. Lift up a little bit, just enough to clear the bottom and pull back. And then it comes out. Okay, so now we have to take out these four screws along the side. And now we can separate the caddy from the drive. This is a Samsung drive, 1000 gigabytes. We're going to replace it with a solid state drive. And so we have to take a look at the connector here. Uh, there's a, a wide slot and a narrow slot that has to line up on this, so it's got to be connected like this. And since this goes in here like this, we know that the, the drive would have to sit in the caddy like this. So we'll put the screws in with it in this proper orientation. Or we'll just drop the screws on the floor and lose them all. These screws are kind of a pain because they're so small. If you have a magnetic screwdriver, that certainly helps. Okay. So now the drive will connect back in. Put these screws back in and if you wanted to add a second drive it would be the same procedure with the other caddy. So 
like that's taped down there on the motherboard. I don't really like that. I don't think you should be applying tape to the motherboard. Just make sure the tape is only on that plastic piece there. You know what, if I don't like that at all, because the tape gives out and the screws are loose in there. I'm not keeping those screws in there. I got enough of those, I'll just put them with my other collection and if I need them I know where they're at. Okay, that concludes the um, drive and memory replacement. Whenever I service a machine, I always like to clean out the radiator as well. Because you get a lot of dust in there and so forth. It won't cool properly. I just take some compressed air and blow this out. There's a lot of dust coming out of there. Okay, that should be nice and clear now. Let's put this back on and then that will conclude the situation here. It kind of goes in at the top there on those three tabs and it snaps in at the bottom. Okay. That's it. Drive memory are replaced.